the well-known American exchange Uphold has finally revealed its self-custody solution, called Uphold Vault, with early access available to XRP investors following numerous teases. The Ministry of Finance of Palau and Ripple Labs have released the outcomes of the first phase of the Palau stablecoin project, unveiling the subsequent actions on the project's roadmap. Additionally, the XRP reserve on the platform has decreased by 1.1% in less than a month as a result of the severe regulatory crackdown on Binance, as liquidity suffers greatly. Ultimately, data indicates that XRP has continued to outperform Ethereum in 2023 despite recent changes, therefore, market analyst Cryptos is watching for a new XRP upswing in the long run. The exchange announced the debut of the Uphold Vault on X, praising it as an assisted state-of-the-art self-custody solution. The disclosure states that the purpose of the crypto-based vault service is to protect digital assets and prevent private key loss. Uphold Vault utilizes a multi-signature structure connected to three keys, including the Uphold Key, the Vault Key, and the Backup Key. The Uphold Key is the third key, the other two are the Vault and Backup Keys. Users keep two of the three keys. Both keys must be available to complete a transaction. Uphold stated that it put the process in place to allow users to function independently if Uphold's system is down. In addition, the exchange mentioned that if a user misplaces the backup key or vault key, it can help with replacing and regaining access to the vault. Uphold made it clear, nonetheless, that during the key replacement procedure, it does not obtain access to the user's assets or keys. You maintain complete control throughout the entire process. Your assets would always be available, even if one of our systems failed. The conversation said, it's interesting to note that, after promising in July, the American exchange launched the Uphold Vault in beta, limiting access to XRP holders only. Despite XRP being the sole digital asset currently supported, the exchange has vowed to support additional cryptocurrencies in the upcoming weeks. Vault is currently accessible for XRP, and support for more networks and tokens is on the horizon, according to the announcement. The potential that Uphold Vault offers the XRP community excites us greatly. Undoubtedly, this action can be seen as a strategic move to enhance Uphold's long-term connections with the XRP community. Because Uphold designed this aided crypto self-custody solution to have instantaneous connectivity to the Uphold trading platform, it is noteworthy that it offers trading access. To be the first to know about new updates, remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. In a recent revelation, J. Hunter Anson, a cybersecurity consultant and director at the Palau Finance Ministry, provided the public with an update on the most recent events concerning XRP. In a recent revelation, J. Hunter Anson, a cybersecurity consultant and director at the Palau Finance Ministry, gave the public this update. This information was just disclosed to the public by J. Hunter Anson, a cybersecurity consultant and board member of the Palau Finance Ministry. Anson brought a file with the report to X, pointing out that it included specifics about the outcomes. The report included specifics about the outcomes of the first phase of the pilot program. Remember that although distribution for the Palau stablecoin project began in June, the project underwent its first trial phase in March. However, Ripple announced on July 26, shortly after J. Hunter Anson's live demonstration of the stablecoin's capabilities, as later discovered. The most recent update details the outcomes from the participants' experiences and offers the phase's data now that it has concluded. The Phase 1 pilot, notably, concluded on September 29. 168 participants participated, and 20,000 Palau stablecoins may have been produced. Given that the stablecoin keeps a 1 to 1 ratio with the dollar, this comes to $20,000. The project issued 20,000 PSC, of those, with a minimum of 100 PSC per wallet, the team gave out 16,900 PSC to the 168 participants. During the trial period, the participants completed 729 transactions, of which 463 were merchant payments. Only 64 of the 168 transactions that involved payments passed through peer-to-peer -peer distribution in the meantime. After Phase 1, the project team burned up to 14,534 PSC tokens. The project team polled 168 participants following the conclusion of the trial to gather their opinions on the stablecoin initiative. According to the report, as of October 9, 83 out of the 168 participants have answered the survey's questions. 
Approximately 36.6% of the respondents said they had an outstanding experience using the stablecoin, and 31.7% said they had a decent experience. Just 9.7% of respondents said they had an unsatisfactory experience. The majority of those involved mentioned transactions. Quickness, freedom from carrying cash, and user-friendliness make for a positive experience. Recall that in addition to using its CBDC platform to power the project's blockchain infrastructure, Ripple also created the stablecoin wallet. 9.8% of respondents said using the wallet for payments was difficult, while 58.7% of respondents said it was simple to set up and use. On the other hand, roughly 50.6% of the participants reported experiencing issues, including delayed reaction times. Participants reported experiencing issues with the wallet, such as the hassle of manually entering the recipient's address and using the QR code, as well as issues with the code when they tried to use it at a POS terminal. As these problems emerged, the project team put fixes in place. According to the survey, 81% of participants said they were happy with the resolutions. Furthermore, the top three use cases chosen for the stablecoin's future deployment were retail transactions, 87.8%, P2P transfers, 67.1%, and cross-border payments, 61%. The study indicated that the initial trial was successful and generally showed the attractiveness of the stablecoin as well as its ability to supplement the nation's current system. The majority of respondents stated that should the government allow it, they would be in favor of the stablecoin's complete implementation. The paper states that the creation of an ecosystem comprising common people, financial institutions, legal and regulatory frameworks, and regulatory agencies will be the next step. The team will incorporate all of these into the stablecoin network. Additionally, based on our tracking, drawing from our records that we have carefully monitored, the XRP reserve on Binance as of November 1st this number has decreased as of December 1st, according to its most recent proof of reserve report. The decline reminds me of the imbalance in the cryptocurrency market and the way popular currencies, regardless of the platform, react to unstable regulations. Even after the exchange paid the Department of Justice $4.3 billion in settlement, Binance traders of XRP are still cautious. Even though Binance XRP reserve is declining month over month, the trading platform is still able to fulfill all of its users' withdrawal requests. Users can make withdrawal requests at any time. The large excess of $74,200,000 is present in the one $7 billion Binance XRP reserve. When Chomping CZ Zhao, the platform's founder, resigned due to conflict with the Department of Justice, the trading platform experienced withdrawal shocks. However, during the tumultuous month of November, the strong liquidity pool and XRP reserve lessened the impact of these shocks. Binance devoted clients trust the company due to its transparency in publishing the proof of reserve report since it began doing so some months ago. Amid the threat from the Department of Justice, Binance continues to be the largest cryptocurrency exchange based on daily trading volume. Did XRP do better in 2023 than Ethereum? And now for the main query of the day, did XRP beat Ethereum in 2023? Please remember to click the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. To be the first to learn more about the most recent developments around XRP, Crypto's shared combined charts on X, describing the weekly price fluctuations of XRP and Ethereum in the same period. We will collect interest from January 2023 to December 2023. Cryptocurrencies have brought to light a lot of positive price action for XRP this year. But since XRP isn't completely capitalizing on the recent Bitcoin gain, investors' optimism is dwindling, therefore, memory was required. According to data from Crypto's chart, XRP has increased in value by 116% so far this year. January 2023 saw XRP start the year on a positive note after three months of declines from October to December 2022. After rising by 19%, the cryptocurrency ended January 2023 at $0.40. This rise broke its monthly losing streak. Since then, XRP has continued to show sporadic increases and decreases. At the moment, $0.68 cents is the asset's exchange value. Ethereum has also had a bullish year, according to crypto's disclosure, although its growth rate has slowed down compared to XRP's. According to data from the chart, Ethereum has increased in value by 91% since 2023 began. 
Despite the significant price increase for XRP in terms of market capitalization, the asset still has a ways to go before it overtakes Ethereum, as noted by cryptos this year. Notably, XRP has a market cap of $36 billion, but Ethereum has a market cap of $270.5 billion. XRP's market valuation is almost eight times smaller than Ethereum's. To reach Ethereum's market cap, XRP would have to increase in value by 706% from its present price of $5.08. Even though the majority of market observers have talked about this surge's potential, it is still unknown. Citing the state of affairs, Cryptos revealed that he was keeping an eye out for a new, sustained upswing in XRP. Recently, it was disclosed that XRP had a similarly lackluster performance before the beginning of the 2017 bull run. Ultimately, though, the asset did better than other tokens and Bitcoin. Over the last week, Ethereum has increased by 12%, while XRP has increased by 11%. But interest in XRP is still rather high, as evidenced by the 19% increase in trade volume over the previous day. I now want to know what you think about this. Share your thoughts in the designated comment section. Verify that you enjoy the video, and don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe. This is a huge assistance for the YouTube algorithm. By sharing this, you can also help enlighten others as you have been enlightened. Video to as many people as we can, let's spread this news far and wide, people. If you're a true enthusiast of cryptocurrencies, make sure to watch all of our stuff. I'll see you tomorrow to discuss the most recent news that affects our community as a whole.